So, Senator Niall O'Donnell to be followed by Senator Martin Conway, please. Thank you, uh, Chair. Thanks. Commissioner uh, and uh, your colleagues for the presentation. Commissioner, you'll remember when you first appeared in front of this committee uh, in October uh, last year, uh, I raised the issue of uh, the journal uh, of Dennis Donaldson, the late Dennis Donaldson, with you and the current status and the request by his family um, that it be uh, returned to them. Now, in response to me at that stage, you said the specific point that you raised has been raised in correspondence from the family solicitor, so that's a live issue at this moment, and we will quickly have a response. Now, I don't intend to get into the status uh, of the evidential uh, value of the journal and the change uh, in that status uh, since your first appearance and your uh, subsequent second appearance. What I would like to ask is, uh, have you corresponded with Dennis Donaldson's family and his solicitors in regard to the journal, or in relation to the journal? Um, no, I haven't. Uh, there's a, I understand a letter has been prepared. Uh, we have prepared a position based on um, where we are in, in um, a legal process uh, here in this jurisdiction. Um, and uh, so there is a letter I understand prepared and I will, I will uh, communicate directly with the solicitor. Okay, now, Commissioner, you can understand my scepticism given you gave me that commitment in October last year. I mean, you may want to elaborate on what the delay has been, um, but also I would offer you the opportunity, uh, so as I don't have to ask you again in, in this committee, um, just to uh, give us that definitive assurance that the family, or indeed their legal representatives, can be assured that they will receive, uh, finally, a correspondence from you in relation to this very important matter. Well, yes, I can absolutely give uh, the, that assurance. Um, uh, subsequently, uh, I have inquired into this matter. I have inquired in terms of uh, the uh, investigation which has been led by the Police Ombudsman in Northern Ireland, but also and the information and support that we have provided to that, but also then in respect of our own um, murder investigation and the status of that. And um, at the end of, of Looking into both of those matters, I'm now in a position to write to the solicitor um, and I've sought uh, uh, legal advice in terms of the correspondence to enter into. Uh, I understand it's almost finalised and when it is I will, I will correspond, but that will be um, very shortly. I'd hope, to have it, I'd hope to have it resolved before this committee, but unfortunately I wasn't, I wasn't able to do so. Okay, thank you, uh, Commissioner, because I, I'm very anxious to see this exchange take place between you and the, yes. the, the legal team, as yes. opposed to me having to raise it uh, with you at these meetings. Um, Commissioner, uh, you might not be able to uh, go too deep into this, but I just I have a couple of questions, Chair. And the first one I just want to take as a standalone question, and then I'll group the rest. Um, but can you give us an indication of the status uh, of the case regarding uh, Guardi arrested in uh, recent corruption probe? The, the um, guard or guards? Guard. Well, that's uh, that's a live and ongoing investigation. Um, it carries on, uh, as you would expect. We're going through uh, the evidential uh, support for that, and um, I received uh, an update on it only last week. And I think it would it would be wrong for me to go into the detail of that. But I'm satisfied with the progress that has be, that ha that is and uh, has been made. Okay, I appreciate that, Commissioner. Thank you. Uh, other colleagues uh, have uh, mentioned uh, Magella uh, Moynihan, Commissioner, um, and they've referred rightly to the appalling treatment uh, that she endured in the 1980s. Um, and uh, as appropriate, you have uh, apologised to her rightly so, uh, and that's a positive move, uh, uh, Commissioner. I just wonder if you've examined whether there are any uh, other uh, instances of similar cases uh, to the Magella uh, Moynihan case, and if that's something that you're internally uh, investigating corporate. Uh, within the Gardaí. Um, the other question I have, uh, Commissioner, is in relation to uh, public commentary uh, in more recent times around the issue and the concern about cybercrime uh, and the resourcing uh, of cybercrime. Uh, I wonder, Commissioner, do you believe that the Garda has a, a requisite, uh, the requisite equipment and resources to properly tackle uh, cybercrime? And legislatively, uh, Commissioner, given that there has been uh, so much evidence now in cases involving uh, cybercrime uh, or 
in sexual uh, abuse material um, that may uh, involve uh, material in the cloud or in remote storage? Um, do you think there is a need for additional powers uh, for seizure uh, of such data, uh, such as in the production and preservation orders outlined in the Budapest Convention? Um, uh, in respect of uh, Magella Moynihan, uh, um, we have we have actively and are actively looking for um, similar cases. Uh, given that this happened in the first place and, and uh, um, the extraordinary approach to this particular case, uh, at the same time, one can't think that this is just a single standalone case. Uh, I don't have a definitive number because it requires um, a search of records going back to um, 1959. Uh, but also uh, another aspect of this was that male Garda members were uh, also subject of uh, discipline um, boards of inquiry uh, for, in effect, getting unmarried girls pregnant. So there's a there is a second element um, of this as well, just in this. Um, completely extraordinary tale. So um, uh, I think it will be difficult for us actually to be entirely uh, definitive on the, f on the figures uh, just because uh, these matters uh, weren't uniformly um, mm. dealt with in the same way. And uh, that's even apparent in uh, looking at the case in front of us and in comparison to other records that we hold. But there does seem to be uh, a limited number uh, but it, it, at this point in time, and bear in mind, this only broke really Saturday week ago. It's very difficult to be uh, definitive, and I'm not sure that we'll get to a position where we can say, yes, there are the names of other women who were yeah. uh, subject to some form of discipline inquiry. Yeah, to, to be fair, uh, Commissioner, I don't even expect you to uh, be definitive in that regard, uh, and I think you have touched on it. Uh, it's fair to say that you are expecting other instances, and you're expecting to have to deal with similar cases to uh, the Moynihan well, uh, undoubted, situation. Well, uh, um, uh, undoubtedly, there are some similar cases, mm. a small number, but that's not to say that uh, some individual who uh, may emerge who we, we don't have a record of at this moment. Okay. In relation to the cyber crime? C cyber crime. Um, it, can I prepare a written response yeah. to that, please? Because it does come to resources you and, can, yeah. and the particular convention, uh, I'm not uh, familiar enough to give an authoritative answer here. That's fair enough. Uh, yeah. sure. Thank you. Will you direct it to the clerk of the committee for circulation to all the members? And thank you, Senator. Well, you have all the okay. questions. Just two things. Go for uh, it. Questions, uh, Chair. The first is very succinct, uh, Commissioner. It's just to ask if you're familiar with the operation of the mobile property uh, register operated by the police in Britain, uh, and would you consider uh, such a scheme uh, here in this state? Um, the, finally, it's, it, it's quite a... Uh there's quite a bit of detail here, uh, uh, Commissioner, so I'll get through it uh, fairly quickly. But it's just to ask you uh, in relation to the arrest figures for Operation Thor. Um, now, these were figures obtained by my colleague, uh, Deputy O'Leary, uh, from the uh, Commissioner, or from the Minister, sorry, um, that indicate uh, they're extraordinarily high, uh, uh, Commissioner. So let me just uh, give you some of them as I have them here uh, in front of me, as quoted by the Minister uh, very recently. Um, uh, under Operation Thor, uh, it states that there has been 10,024 uh, arrests made under the operation between November the 2nd, 2015, and May the 7th of this year. This represents an average of eight arrests every day over the past three and a half years, or one arrest every three hours. Uh, I'm sure Deputy Munster would like to see similar stats for our own constituency. Um, there have also been 11,554 charges brought under the operation to date for a range of offences including burglary, hand stolen property, possession of firearms and drug offences according uh, to Garda uh, stats. There have been 34,461 searches, 96,997 intelligence reports uh, and 300, over 356,000 patrols over the same period. Uh, Period. The guard of figures further state that there have been uh, over 200, almost 300,000 checkpoints under the operation since it started, on average about 158 uh, every day. Um, so it's, it's really just to get your view uh, on, on that, Commissioner, because they do se seem, uh, as quoted in the response, extraordinarily high. But, th but th those are our national figures for that period? Mm -hmm. Well, um, 
Even if I take the arrest figures, I have to set that in the context that in the same period there were $260,000 arrests, arrest type incidents. So this, this four, which is um, an operation certainly to counter burglary, but it's also to counter criminality on the road, um, in some ways um, I'm, I'm satisfied with those figures, uh, I might say, um, given the extent of the period, uh, I might have expected a little bit more. And against the context of $260,000 arrests, uh, you know, it shows just the amount of activity undertaken by Angarda Shikana and respective enforcement. And, you know, we, we are an organisation that deals with approximately a million incidents or, or reports to us per annum. So there's a huge amount of work goes on. But um, John has more of the detail, but uh, we have, we're aware of the the question mm -hmm. and we double check the figures and okay. we're content. Because that was my next question. You know, we're content on those figures and the statistical return for operation uh, four in itself and it's a you know it's a small s uh, snapshot of the overall enforcement activity on Garda Shikana. The earlier question that the senator oh, asked. Uh, Property register. No, I'm not a, I'm not okay. aware of that. I'll so that's maybe to some you can come back to me and read yes. to as well. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. We're okay, Deputy Commissioner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. Yeah, yeah. Or did, did you? Want